Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Steve. Now, a couple of things today before I get into anything. There's a lot gone on. Um, first of all, sorry I've been away for a few weeks. Uh, real life is sort of... Uh, not kicking my ass, but there's a lot of stuff going on in uh, real life with me at the moment. Hence the reason for being away for the last three weeks. Um, secondly... I want to give a big thank you to everybody who subscribed. Um, I finally made it up over 200 subscribers. On the way to 1,000. And the plaque that's in the back, but there, 1,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm on the way. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, go right now. It only takes two seconds. Give that subscribe button a slap. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Go do it now. Have you done it? Nice one. Cheers, guys. Help me get up to 1,000 subscribers. Anyway, for those of you who might be aware, Real VR Fishing did a selfie competition on Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, and a couple of other platforms as well, where you had to basically take... A selfie of yourself in the game and they were judging them a few weeks back and as it goes I just so happened to be one of the winners and thankfully uh, thanks to the the three uh, people from Mirage Soft voting I actually scored top marks I scored 30 out of 30 and my prizes came yesterday so I wanted to get them on the camera just to show you guys what the people at Mirage Soft have done so we've got two t-shirts, real VR fishing, check it out, I am hooked, yes I am, I think we all are, another lovely little t-shirt, another lovely little t-shirt, Mirage Soft, and we had other couple of little gifts, had a lovely Lovely Mirage Soft tumbler. Don't know if you can see that. Mirage Soft on by there. And a little book and a pen as well. I just want to give a big shout out to uh, Mirage Soft and the, the, the people there. One, thank you so much for the game. The game is bloody epic. Mate, it's fantastic. Um, and two, thank you for doing a little competition for us. Um, and, and for the prizes. Thank you so much, it's great. Now, today, I'm going to be showing you guys, you, all of you, how to snap when it comes to fishing. It's a big question, I see it, there's, there's, there's a lot of people that go on about it on, on various platforms. There's a lot of information out there, how to do it right and how to do it wrong. And it seems that some people get really technical with it, with regards, degrees and angles to the horizon and all this type of stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump on and I'm just going to show you guys how to be a bit more chilled with it, how to be a bit more relaxed whilst to win the snap okay that's enough chat let's just get straight into it today like i said i'm going to be showing you how to do the snap don't ignore that i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the snap okay now, like I said, I've seen a lot of comments out there about people saying about the degree, the angle that you should hold the rod at, and where you should come to with regards to the horizon and all, all this type of stuff, and at what point the fish jumps to do it is better than another. And, I mean, having done this for quite a while now, to me it just seems a bit overkill I think I think 
it may be being made to be a bit more complicated than it is. And I just wanted to show you today how easy the movement of my hand can be to get the snap, guys, okay? So I'm going to cast in a couple of times, and I'm just going to show you a few snaps, hopefully over a few different size fish. And you never know, it might even be uh, a, a shark as well or something like that, okay, guys? So let's just cast in and we'll see where we're at. Right, all right. Okay, typically, I've got a bloody great big huge shark on. So this is gonna be a perfect example, okay? Now, did you see that? That was an actual snap. Watch how subtle the movement is. It hasn't got to be too aggressive. See that? That's all that was. There's a little movement to the side. Now, don't get me wrong. You can really fling your arm around. But the whole point of today is just to show you guys how subtle the movement can be. There's been a lot of questions over catching sharks and the snap, whether it's essential or not. Did you see how easy that was, guys? That was an actual snap. And that's all I did was that. And last week, I came on the game. See how easy that was? Last week I came on the game and I thought, I'm going to try bringing a shark in without using any snaps. And I had a shark on for 30 minutes and it was still as far out as it could possibly be. Did you see that? See how easy that snap was? Watch my hand, watch the rod as well, okay guys? Nice and slow, nice and easy. Watch my hands, okay, guys? Well, there we are. This is the movement, okay, guys? Watch the rod here. You guys watch my hand and watch what's on the VR as well. That's all it is. Or. Oh. Okay? That's all it is. Now that's what I was saying. I had a shark on for 30 minutes. And I wasn't doing any snaps. I was just trying to bring it in with the reel. 30 minutes. And it was still out as far as it possibly could be. It was still all the way out, guys. But without the snap on the bigger fish, certainly the sharks... You're not going to bring a shark in. Or I'd, I'd be amazed if somebody can honestly say they brought a shark in without utilising the snap. Okay? Um, like I said, I was there for 30 minutes and the shark was as far out as it could be. If you hit every other snap, so if the shark jumps and you hit it, and then he jumps again and you miss it, don't worry. If you get the next one, then there'll be a slow movement in with the shark, okay? So I would say, I would say every other snap, possibly every third snap you could get away with, okay guys? On the sharks. On the smaller stuff, I've brought in smaller fish without doing the snap at all, okay? Okay, here we go guys. This fish isn't making much of a scene, so it might not be anything too big. But if it jumps, we'll do a nice easy snap. Well, I... Okay, Jesus Christ, we got another shark, guys. Um, again, watch my hands. Watch my rod on the game. And watch how easy the snap can be, okay, guys? That's all it was. Nice and easy. Okay, see if he jumps again. There we are, did you see that? Just one of those. Nice and slow, nice and easy. He may jump here. There we go, did you see that? Just a little side movement. 
This is the Comex Shark Hunting. See that? Just a little book. See if he jumps again. Here we go. See that? Just a little movement. I'm pretty much only moving my hand at the wrist. And that's literally two within five minutes. And to be honest though, that's about as quick. That's about as quick as it needs to be done as well, okay? I'll give you one more try, see what we catch. And uh, see if I can just give you another couple of examples of the snap. And remember guys, it hasn't, don't make it too complicated for yourselves. Don't overthink it. Just, just relax with it. Just nice and easy movement. I mean, if you really want to, you can, you can get well into it with your arm. You know what I mean? But you don't have to. Like I said, I've got my elbow on the chair here. And it's just that or that. Okay? Let's see if, uh, let's see if we can get something else. Might make it feed for three sharks now, guys. Let's run then. Well, I... You've got to be shitting me. Um, and another shark, guys. Jesus Christ. This is nuts. I've had three sharks in, like... 15 minutes. Now again, watch my hand. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Do you see that? Nice and slow. But just one of those. Now he changed direction there. And I just went like that. You could see it opposite direction there. Just a little snap. Just a little snap, guys. See that there? Just a little one of those, look. And that was enough to get the snap, guys. Nice and easy, look. Just one of those. There he is, giant Trevally. No wonder he was putting up a bit of a fight. So even with the bigger fish, like you saw over there, that would work with the mahi mahi or the striped marlin. Even the big fish, you only need that sort of a movement. It can be, it can be as little as that. Okay, so there's my hand. It's just as little as that. Don't worry about the angle of the horizon and where your rod is coming to and from and everything it's just one of those or one of those here we go guys i can see a big fin sticking out of the water might be a mahi mahi possibly but if it is it's going to be jumping and i will See that then? Nice and easy. I mean, that thing was going through the air then. Nice and easy, look. Nice and easy. Oh, just one of those. But just a nice, calm snap. There we go, look. See how easy that was? See how slow that was? Get it out of the water. Give it one of those, look. Here we go, look, nice and easy. There we go, look. Just one of those. I know it's difficult when 
you have so much information being provided on all different platforms and nice and easy look. Obviously people do different things and what works for one might not work for another. Primary just to show that it it's, doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be too technical. It doesn't have to be too technical at all. See that? He was in the end, I just went like this. Easy snap again, guys. Easy snap. Nice and calm. Just a little pull. Well, there we are, guys. Um, not a bad video. Uh, not, a, not a bad couple of catches, actually. Uh, a few sharks. And um, a couple of big fish. Hopefully you found it helpful. And hopefully you can see that the movement really doesn't have to be too much. Like I said, a lot of people do different things and a lot of different things work for different people. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy the snap can be. It it really doesn't take a lot of effort. It is it can just be just a simple movement. And I mean you saw on a couple of the fish there I wasn't even moving my hand that quick. There was nothing so aggressive as that. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I was trying to rip the face off the fish. It was just like, just a little movement. Either way, and that was enough. Try it out. Drop it in the comments below if, you, if it works for you. Um, drop it in the comments if you found it useful or handy. And if you have, guys, and if it does help you out, Give that subscribe button a slap. I, could, I couldn't even say that. Give that subscribe button a slap. Help me get my subscribers up. And if you enjoyed the video, give a little thumbs up, guys. It all helps. It all helps. Um, for now, until the next one, take it easy and bye-bye.